Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Al Yamani, a product evangelist in Sitecore. In this video, I'll talk about Sitecore personalized web experiences for the Play Summit demo. Web Experiences facilitates personalizations on web pages. Without relying on technical nor development teams, a business user, such as a marketer, can personalize web experiences through an offer, next best action, operational message, or any other customer experience on web pages or web based applications. For this demo, we have built two personalized web experiences on the Play Summit demo website using Sitecore Personalize. The first experience is controlled message bar between the web pages header and the main content. The second experience is built to promote a VIP ticket to eligible users who are about to buy regular ticket. Let's have a quick look at the two experiences on our demo website. This is a Play Summit website in a new incognito browser. It's built using React technology. You can see the first experience here. On all website pages, we have this message bar displaying between the header and the main content. This bar is managed by Sitecore Personalized Web Experience that controls the component's HTML based on certain conditions. From technical point of view, this bar is displayed on the first page load and it persists when the page change or when the React root change in React terms, the technology used for building this demo website. For business users, Marketer, for example, can use Sitecore Personalize to configure templates parameters such as texts, button texts, button links, or colors. This is a useful way to insert dynamic data on a website to facilitate one-to-one -one personalization and conversations with customers. Our second Sitecore Personalize web experience is adopting a simple upselling technique. It displays VIP tickets pop-ups to visitors that have previously browsed premium sessions, but about to buy a regular ticket. To show this experience in action, I'll show interest by visiting a premium session page. Then I'll start checkout process for a regular ticket. Fill in my details to identify and go to the payment page now. After 5 seconds on the regular ticket page, here is the personalized web experience displayed. Clicking on the Call to Action button navigates to the VIP ticket payment page. Let's now go to Sitecore Personalized to see how this upsell web experience is built. This is Sitecore Personalized. Web experiences are under Experiences menu. Before diving more in this web experience, note that Sitecore Personalized also has a web experiments feature. There are a few differences between the web experiences and web experiments, such as minimum number of variants and the performance dashboards. We also have a specific demo video on that topic. For now, let's open a VIP ticket upsell experience. And go to the Build tab. We use this experience to upsell VIP tickets to guests interested in premium sessions. To do that, we log each page view attributed with custom field, marking if it's a premium ticket or not. This is done using Stream APIs, which is covered in more details in another video demo, so make sure you check other videos on this demo channel. When you create a web experience, you can apply the following optional features, so before talking about the experience content, let's briefly go over each of these sections. Starting by page targeting, page targeting allows to show the web experience only in certain pages. It can be configured using either the UI editor or written in JavaScript in the advanced targeting section. The UI editor provides a set of conditions to be evaluated at the page load in the visitor browser. In this React application, however, where root changes are not full page loads, we had to use custom JavaScript advanced targeting to re-evaluate the page on every React root change. To show also the ability of customizing this code, we have added here the 5 seconds delay before showing the web experience to the visitors. 
Our page targeting here ensures this experience is shown only on the ticket payment page when the user is about to check out with a regular ticket. The following section is audience targeting. It allows to show the web experience only to certain audience. There are two options to configure the audience. The first option by utilizing site core CDB segments that are updated on daily basis. The second option is through real-time audience section and using one of predefined templates or by building a real-time audience using JavaScript. CDB segments are updated only once a day, so it doesn't fit for the real-time nature of the task here. Alternatively, we need to use JavaScript real-time audience to evaluate target guests based on their current and past browsing sessions. The following section is decisioning. Decisioning enables business users to model and run decisions using business rules. It supports complex logic, calling external services, computing data, or choosing the next best action to show in the web experience. However, in this demo web experience, we didn't need to use decisioning. Following is managing goals. Goals measure the success of web experience and accordingly update performance dashboards. We have set a goal for this experience to measure the number of page views of the VIP ticket payment confirmation. Now let's go back to the content section. In a web experience, we can have one or more variants. We have created two variants for this experience. Each variant has a different image. One variant has a drifting rally car image. The other one has a celebrating player. Traffic allocation. Let's you set the percentage of guests that you want to expose to the web experience. Here we target 100% of the site visitors with this experience. We also set a 50-50 split on the traffic between the two variants. To view one of the variants content, let's click on the view code button. After the five seconds delay we added in targeting section, the variants preview displays. We are allowing business users to edit the title and the button text of this variant. I will move now to the other web experience and show how the message bar experience is built. It displays a customizable message banner between the header and the main content on the Play Summit website. We didn't configure audience set as we wanted the banner to display to all visitors. We also use advanced page targeting script here to ensure the banner is displayed on every React route change. I'll simulate now a business user who wants to edit this experience. The web experience is live. To update the message, I must first pause the web experience. We have configured four available colors that are matching the website color palette. I can also update the message on the banner. For example, to drive people to the shop page. Then I'll save the variants to be able to preview the changes. Site Core Personalize includes a preview component. It enables you to test and preview the web experience to see how it will display on your organization's website. You can preview the web experience either from the editor or using preview links from the variance lists. For the URL field, you should use the URL of the web page that the experience is targeting to display. I'd use my demo portal instance. You can also select a guest to simulate the session. This is useful if the experience is targeting a specific guest. Now click Go. The page URL you entered will open in your default browser and you can preview the updated web experience. Preview includes a special QA tool that allows to debug the web experience. It shows its successful status and control variants. Now, after I validated the changes, the last step is to start the web experience and validate its life on the website.
To summarize, throughout this video, we have gone over Sitecore latest play summit demo website. We showed how visitor stream tracking enables real-time web personalizations. In Site Sitecore Personalize, we have talked about web personalization build components and how business users can easily configure and review web experiences before going live. For more details on how to request your Play Summit demo instance, you are welcome to check Partners demo website at get.sitecoredemo.com or you can access demo repository at github.com slash sitecore slash sitecore.demo.edge Thank you for watching this episode of Sitecore Play Summit demo series and see you in next videos.